USC, Compton, Watts, Bay to LA. From on to California, from valley to valley, we represent that killer county. So if you keeping it real on your side of your town, you tune in to Gangsta Chronicles. Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Stairs. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. This is something I always wanted to know, man. You said you was cool with Biggie and um, Lil' Kim and them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why you think Kim did her face like that, man? Um. Cause she's fucked up now, and she was a beautiful ass girl, she's man. Still sex. What? What? You know what's James funny? James said she's still sex. I'm, I'm gonna be real with nigga, you, nigga. What? I, I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> this when it comes to Little Kim, I'm very protective and very biased. Right. And I admit it because I grew up with her. She's somebody I ain't got no sister. problem with well, I ain't Kim. got no Kim, and this no, no, is no, not no this. No. I, I, I say that because, you know. I'm a fan. When, with, with her, she been through a lot. You got to think. Big didn't die old age. Got right. killed. Mm -hmm. The trauma that we go through with death, we never get help for that shit. We go and we do different things. So sometimes you do things to yourself. So she was in love with Biggie? Definitely. Right. And we all at this table might suffer from something called survivor's remorse. So you have, when motherfuckers die, you say, well, I ain't dead. That shit could have been me. That. Yeah, I said that. It's called survivor's cool. remorse. I don't know what it's called, but. Yeah, so now, okay. so now you kind of feel bad because you ain't get killed with your homie. Or especially if you're that close to a motherfucker and, and, and you feel somehow some kind of relation to the death. You get right. me? Of course, you, you're you going to always be in the situation of why not me? How did I start this? If I have not made that beat, I would have been with the homie. You understand what I'm saying? Kim might be saying, if I wasn't where I was at, I'd have been in that car. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to remember when that shit happened, I think C's was like 13 and he was a little kid. Yeah, he was a kid running with them, huh? Yeah. So, so when you look at the trials and tribulations that we go through after trauma, what we don't do as black people, we don't get help. We try to drink it away, smoke it away, fuck it away, be violent. So you think she altered herself just because she was feeling a certain kind of way? I mean, I watch the movies, and I watch, and to me, like, Biggie kind of, like, dogged her. Now, but now, look, see, now, like, you, me, me being an insider, you could look at colors and say that was bullshit. Right. I could look at the Notorious movie and laugh at this shit, because it's comical. I'm happy that they made a movie about one of the homies. It wasn't true. But though. it was so much shit in there that's not factual. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, again, it's Hollywood. It's a movie. You got to sell tickets. So we yeah. gotta make it juicier you know what than whatever. And this is my disclaimer. That wasn't no diss towards no, 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 no. Kim. I, I just always was curious oh, about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, saying. I'm that. a fan. I didn't Don't take that as that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't take that as that. But again, with her, you know, I I know what they went through because I was close to Biggie. I was close to Fat Chris and Biggie Small. They was close to Notorious Big B.I.G., the fucking stu superstar. You know, mind you, this dude was on a block in the hood. He might come through the block and say, yo, where the chicks at? I'm trying to get my dicks up. Where the hoes at? So you go from that, coming through my block to, you get your dick sucked by any chick in the world now. So let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. Why do... Gene Deal get a bad rep from everybody out there. Because he's telling something that nobody don't want to hear. You know what that is? What's that? The truth. Who the fuck want to hear the truth? You know what I'm saying? And the truth is from his vantage point. And everybody got a different version of the truth depending on who mouth it come out. Right. And he's going against somebody that everybody on their dick. See, people chase the bag. You know when a nigga got the bag, he can't do no wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, who because, was the dude that got the bag, Puff? Yeah. 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 So, so ain't nobody going against mm -hmm. him because 
he could cut your lifeline. So fuck my morals, values, and principles. In the truth, I got to stick with the money. So if you look at my interview with Gene, I had a lot of respect for Gene when I said, well, when did you dissolve your relationship? When he said, puff off of some him some money, he said, I don't want that shit. Once a nigga stop taking your money, he don't fuck with you. Because right. niggas will be still talking bad on the nigga, but still be on the payroll. Once a nigga say, look, I don't even want your fucking money no more. You know, like a chick, when you say, I'm not even fucking her no more. Like, I, she can't even, I'll never fuck her again. You really ain't fucking with that girl no more. Right. So when Gene did that, I had a lot of respect for him. And um, I just think he just really wanted his story told. And again, he had everybody got a right to tell his story because he was there. He, Gene he, is actually a real cool dude. He man. actually bear witness. Yeah, Gene is a cool cat. He bear witness to some shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And and um, again, nobody. I'm gonna be real with you because while I'm out here tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the spot where it happened at with Biggie, um, as well as the Nipsey Hustle mural. And then, you know, all I know is Roscoe's chicken and waffles and shit like that. <laughs> it's like if y'all come to New York, y'all might go to Juniors or some shit. And I'll be like, man, I ain't no fucking Juniors, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I wanna see the sights out here. And um, you know, I, I, I just feel like when it come to big, I just I just not satisfied with the answers I got. Yeah, because ain't Me nobody personally. went yeah, ain't nobody went to what, jail for it and all that what, shit. What, what, what kind of answers? Can you be looking for it because you got Park gone, you got Biggie gone. Mm. Why in the fuck did they bring Biggie out of here telling me he had to come out of here to do that shit anyway? Listen to Gene. After. Gene. But let me tell you something. Yeah, Gene said that that was Puff. Let me tell come. you something. Let me tell you something that's different about me. I do not group Biggie and Tupac together. It was two Why different not? Because they was two different men too. Oh yeah, they were. But I don't like the mm. fact that we have to contrast them all the time. I, I just, I don't do that because I fucked with Tupac. I like the fucking music. When Easy Mo B did Temptations, I was like, yo, this shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? Even from all the way when my homies called. Even Brenda's Got a Baby because I really was a fan of Tupac. I know about Pour Out a Little Liquor. I know all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know Ambitions of a Rider. I, and, and truthfully, I like <coughs> pre-Death Row Pop. Right. More than I like the Death Row Pop. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when when Big came out here, I remember um, Easy Mo B might not want me to say this, but I'm gonna say it. When, when he did the song Going Back to Cali, Easy Mo B called me and said, yo, I just did a song for Big. I don't think this shit is a good idea because they might think he's mocking them. He he's was. really paying homage. No, he's really paying homage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um. Well, it came out at the wrong time. See, and that's and that's the thing. It's the, it's the time and with everything. And see, he thinks like the common man out here, just like he said, he yeah. was mocking us. So I didn't feel. But he wasn't I didn't, as an artist, I didn't feel because I could listen to the song and I could decipher lyrics. Yeah, you MC though. You talking exactly. about the average street now, cat coming though? From a, now coming from a hood aspect. I'm gonna go fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. Not just that, just the tension and all the shit that happened with Pac. Now, and then it, here it come the song. Truth, wrong, big, truth, wrong time yeah. for the song release. But in big defense though, when you really, really, really think about it, he never really retaliated against Pac. Like he, like Tupac. Retaliate for what though? He Same could, for uh, Eve? No, no, no. No, not Eve, Faith. Faith. No, listen, yeah, because Faith. the point yeah. I'm making is that he always felt like I didn't do nothing wrong to him. I don't hate him. But he hate me because he think I wronged him. But I can't match the hate with hate. You understand what I'm saying? But this nigga's kicking, this nigga's kicking my ass. Like he, you know, when a nigga opened the song, that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. When I first heard it, I was like, oh shit. Because it was so blatant. Now Big on that booth is fucking incredible. Us in New York was like, Oh, get this nigga, man. Like, because we feel like, can't nobody fuck with your pen, but he never really wanted to do it like that. I heard it's a song out there, though. I know, I never heard of that. It's somebody told me, somebody, I heard that it was a song out there, and no. they said that, that shit was crazy, too. No, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> again, fuck it. We going we, we, <laughs> this exclusive, who got one out there is, um, 
Jay Z had one called Dead or Alive. I think it might be out there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And it's Jay Z and Source Money. Mm-hmm. And um, Source Money didn't really go at big, but Jay Z kind of he played his puppet master shit. And he, you know, anytime you ever notice uh, early on when Jay Z had beef, sometimes he didn't respond. He would get other people to respond with him for him, like when he was beefing with Jazz O. The whole uh, uh, state property responded, even when he was before Mob Deep and Nas. Remember, state property was up at Hot 97. They was going in, but he was sitting there like this. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So yeah, um, yo, that shit is yo. When I when I think about that shit, I I really hated that time because I just loved West Coast music. Fuck.